T-minus 16 seconds. South's pressure water system has been activated, protecting discovery of the launch path from acoustical energy. We have a go for main engine start. T-minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff. It is quite extraordinary. Uh, there are so many extraordinary aspects of it. Uh, the, the primary one being uh, once you get to space and you're in a microgravity environment, everything is floating, including you and everything you hold. And it's a little bit like going into a different universe uh, because things don't operate the way we expect. We know that if you uh, let a glass slip out of your fingers, it will crash to the floor and spill all the water. Well, of course, nothing like that will happen in space, although um, the water might take on some interesting properties. It will uh, turn into a ball because the most important force in the absence of gravity is surface tension. So it will turn into a perfect globe. So there's a lot of things that you feel and see in space uh, that, that I, I sort of violate what we are used to uh, here on Earth. Uh, but I think I think the most profound impact is really actually looking back at the Earth. Um, the Earth is an incredibly complex ecosystem and uh, understanding that and recognizing that what happens on one side of the Earth actually does affect what happens on the other side of the Earth is a really important perspective. And I think it's sort of strengthened uh, my views uh, about the ties that America has with Australia, uh, because uh, we cannot solve problems like COVID-19, like climate change uh, and those things without working together. Working together depends on connectivity and um, being able to share information with each other. So uh, that, that is a, a profound impact that flying in space had on me is to see the Earth as a single ecosystem. It's Spaceship Earth and we're the crew.